Hi Flosstube, I'm back for another video. Um, it's been probably, what, 10 days now since I last did one. I've actually been waiting, sorry, um, I dyed my hair earlier and uh, you can actually see bits of it still on me. Um, so, don't laugh. But this is the only chance I've got to film for at least another week. Um, my partner's gone off back to where we live to bring my parents here for the week. And when they get here, we're going to be out and about doing things all the time. So I'm filming in a caravan during the thunderstorm that we are now having in, well, on the east coast in Skegness. So, yeah. First of all, I will show you a few whips. And then I'm going to add a video of a few little gifts and a little cards that uh, I've stitched over the last month or six weeks or so. We stitched a needle case from the Primitive Hair for a friend of mine called Sue, who's been watching the video. I didn't want to post at that until she'd actually received it. She had it yesterday. She was really happy with it, which made me really happy. Um, yeah, and then I stitched her a little card and I've stitched a little card for my dad whose birthday was a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't see him because we were down here sorting out our caravan business. So hopefully he'll like that. It's got just a little card with a little seagull on it. I will add those pictures in a little video in sort of here and then I'll carry on with the rest of it. So the first whip that I've been working on, other than the cards and the needle case, is um, Miss Lola's Dagger Wing. And this is obviously a Nora Corbett, I think it's Butterfly Misses, I'm not sure. Um, so I think when you last saw it, there was just this little bit of brown and a bit of black around here. And so I've come down and I've done a lot more of the outline of the skirt. I've started doing the one over one skin on the arm there. I've done one leg. And last night during the thunderstorms when my dog was a bit upset, I stayed awake with her and I gave Miss Lolo some boots. I've just received in the mail this week the beads to, well, I say the beads, it is one pack of beads and it's just a, um, a crayon blue or something to finish this off with. And it's done on 28 count Whimsy Lugana from Picture This Plus. Another whip that I want to get back out again, that I put away because I was missing a bead and I've since ordered it from so and so was the one that I was doing on my very first video, the stitch with me, um, Miss Bella Hydrangea from Nora Corbett. And I have put some of the beads in, into the flowers, into her necklace, and most of her skin is done. I was very tempted to bring this eyebrow all the way over and make her look uh, like Frida Kahlo, but I decided no. I think she's, she's very free to like anyway, but I love her. I'm not sure what that fabric is. It's just a random thing that I had in my stash and I'm not sure where it originally came from or how long ago, to be honest. Turned into a little bit of a, a whip parade for me, which wasn't the plan, but it, I don't know. 
I'm not sure what else to talk about this weekend and I thought well, why not show some of the things that I've been working on and that I've had out like earlier this year and this one is um, a stitch rovia I think it's called when life gives you lemons and my partner kept trying to tell me that this fabric wasn't going to be big enough so even though I'd worked it out already six or seven times I'd calculated it I thought right okay I'll prove him wrong I'll go all the way down and do the full length and this is the whole width and then it's going to be filled in with um, I think it says when life gives you lemons make a GNT and I will put a picture in of all of the ones that I've showed you But that's on uh, an 18 count, I think it's called Fairy Forest from Crafty Kitten. I don't usually do anything on 18 count, I wanted to do it smaller. But I didn't want to do it over two, I don't know why. And um, I didn't want it to be ridiculously small because it's going to be a gift for a friend when it's finished. The uh, only other thing I wanted to mention is that I'm planning on joining in Jessie Marie um, on her fifth floss to birthday sal. I'm yet to decide what I want to do. One of the days I am planning to do um, a Dumbledore chocolate frog card, which I got from Etsy a while ago, which I haven't started yet. So I'm hoping that I've got enough threads here with me to at least make a start on that one. And then I think one of the other days I'll be a Mirabilia. But I've really got to work it out because it starts on Sunday. Other than that, I'm not really sure what I'll be working on. Just bits and bobs and, you know. I, I failed miserably on the 100 Days of Hay Challenge. I did it for the first two or three days. I did a couple of hundred stitches. And then I got sidetracked with all the other little things that I'm doing. So that went by the wayside. And it was mini tears of yesterday and I do want to get it out again. But at the moment I'm not posting in that group because I feel like I failed. I failed at that challenge miserably. Um, the only other thing I suppose I can show you is a, a few stash things. So I'll just I'll just get one bind up. So I've got a few things in different places, and then we'll just we'll, we'll just give them a quick flash and we'll see. So it's um, Mermaid Asia from Nora Corbett, the Willow Queen. And those two were supposed to be mania starts, but when I started doing the arsenic and old lace, the little stitcher one, a lot of things sort of went by the wayside and, sorry, I've got to cover up the redness on my face. Um, yeah, they went by the wayside and never got picked up yet, but they will eventually. Um, we have red puppy. And yes, total confession, I am a Nora addict. Um, Coral charms. I got this to go with the um, Siren Song Mermaid, which I already started a few years ago, because I thought this and the, I think it's Ophelia's Pearl, which I did start for a Mania start, would all look quite nice together. Um, a fairy spring fling. Um, Daisy from the Pixie Couture. Salem Sisters from Plum Street, the original ones with the photo on. I've had this for quite a few years and not started it yet. Sorry about the glare. Um, Salem Sisters 2 from Plum Street. I haven't got the third one, but I keep meaning to buy that. This is the Prairie Moon, Roses from the Dead. I've got this one and... Or blue eyes um, but that's not here yet that's got to travel over from America 
um, this one I got from Casa Sanina in Italy for, I think it was about six euros. I have uh, 99 bottles from Ink Circles, which I'm planning on doing for my brother for Christmas one year. I don't think it'll be this year, um, as we're already into almost August and I haven't even made a start, but I have got the fabric and I have got the thread. Um, I have tribal teapot. I've had this ooh, probably about seven or eight years in my stash. I was going to do this for my dad. He likes a lot of different herbal teas and he puts them all in his special little teapot with his tea leaves and thought this would be quite cute for him, but I haven't got around to doing it yet. We have um, Midnight Ride from Blackbird Designs. Um, I got this from Julia Gulf Coast Stitches, and I was also in. I'm also in the floss club, and one of the flosses that she happened to send me was the one that I need for this. And then so I just need to buy the other colour. It's like an orangey colour or a DMC, and then I can do this one. I'm thinking of doing it on um, Aztec from Under the Sea Fabrics, which I have. And then this one, I'm I'm going to, hopefully, um, myself and Steph from Just Keep Swimming, Just Keep Stitching, why is that Just Keep Swimming? Um, sorry, I, I sent this to Steph a while ago, and uh, this is Away We Ride from Blackbird Designs, which I also got from Julia Gulf Coast Stitches, and I I think we've said we were starting on the 23rd of September. I think I think that's right. It was something along the lines of that was the first day of the autumn equinox or something. Um, but I did just get the colours in for this the other day. I've just got a floss toss now and decide what fabric to use. But I love this. Absolutely love it. It's amazing. And that's everything out of... Uh, that one particular binder so I suppose I'll leave it here for today because I don't know if you can hear the rain and the thunder and if that's disrupting what you can hear from me talking I don't know and then when I add in the other little pictures and the videos of the things that I, I've done over the past couple of weeks that were secrets then it'll make the video a little bit longer and then hopefully next time we will do something different I might come back and add in some pictures from something I've chosen for Jessie's birthday sal. Like I say, I'm not 100% sure and I really should get myself into gear with that. But yeah, I mean, so far it's been quite a nice response to me doing floss tube, and I've had a few subscribers and a few nice little comments. And yeah, I mean, I never expected anybody would want to watch me, but... We all say that, don't we? And then we're we're all just so lovely to each other that we'll just we'll join in and we'll accept anybody. And I think that's what I really like about um, the stitching community. But uh, yeah, I will get going for now. And uh, for now, I'll say uh, goodbye from Seashell Stitches.